we have a gift, another gift. And this isn't, uh, this. we're not doing this to get you to send us packages. But if you want to, send it to P.O. Box 7695, San Diego, California, 92167. That's the Pat P.O. Box, which will also double as the podcast. So, we got something special here. Uh, I already looked at it before. We were sent a Raspberry Pi. A Pi Tendo, as it's called. Now, Raspberry Pi, um, these are like really miniature computers that you can do with really whatever you want with. I think yeah. they run on Linux, I believe. Uh, yes. And uh, here's the power supply for it. Here's the system. So people have been building these as emulator systems. <laughs> That's a nice case, and, and it's you can buy ones that look like Nintendo cases too. Like cute. I'm not into this at all in terms of I I know I've known about this for a couple of years. My friend AJ, who loves Side Pocket, always tells me all the stuff you can do with the Raspberry Pis, and I don't know the difference between the regular Pi and the Raspberry Pi, but I do know that this is cool because there's an Ethernet cable, mm-hmm. there's an HDMI out, there's a USB power, and four USB for hooking up. Wow, here's a Super Nintendo USB controllers. That's cool. That's crazy. Or, so you could do like you could do Super Bomberman two four players on that. Or hell, I mean, you could buy an adapter like I have for the NES to USB and f- hook up a four score in one. I think it would work in theory with the emulator. It should. And then play five or six or seven games. So this was sent from. What else is in here? Oh, and here's even oh even a nice wow even wow. a nice HDMI cable. So that is cool. So this will be cool because. Oh, well, first of all, this is what the letter says. Pat and Ian. I'll just summarize real quick. Um, this is from a 33-year-old sergeant in the U.S. Marine Corps. Really cool. Yeah. Won't say his last name. Don't want to get in trouble, but his name is... Uh, let's awesome. we'll, we'll call him Sergeant Ryan. All right, let's do that. He's a fan, and he want, he had an extra Raspberry Pi model, B+. I don't know anything about this. I know what that means. It's the, it, it's, it's the nice model. He's he's one of the pioneers of of emulation station, which I guess is maybe that maybe it's the front end on this. Oh, okay. So um, he's been working since since 2013. Blah blah blah. Um, he's built and sold over 40 of these to his marine brethren. Wow. <laughs> he says, hey, "I'm aware of the legalities of what I'm doing, but my intentions are only to spread the joy of retro gaming to young marines who've never owned these consoles and don't have the money to drop on original cartridges. Plus, when you're in the desert, you really have to go lug around this shit or have portability. This. Yeah, I yeah. don't I don't really care." Uh, furthermore, many of these Marines deploy for six to eight months on naval warships without being able to bring their Xbox and PlayStations, and my gaming system will fit in your pocket. Speaking from experience, without my Pi Tendo, I would have surely gone stir crazy while aboard the USS Green Bay from September 2012 to May 2013. Holy shit. Holy. So, what's on here? First of all, thank you, Ryan. This is yeah, awesome. That's really cool. And, and now, what's awesome is, like, that's going to be great for conventions. Like, the, like play the punk challenges and stuff like you that. You got it. If I can, if, as long as you're in HDMI. Yeah. Screw hooking up a Nintendo and a power pack and trying to get things to run smoothly. Or even in your hotel room afterwards. Yeah. Decompressing. Oh, perfect. This is where, this is where, you know what? Emulation, when it comes to portability and stuff like this. Yeah. This, so what's on here? Thousands of games. Wow. He even has, oh, you, oh, you can do save states on here. You can... Controller can rewind, fast forward, turbo. So yeah, fully emulator. 11 plus NES games with box art. 11 plus? 1100 plus, sorry. <laughs> I guess Famicom as well. Yeah. Thousands of games for the 2600, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Master System, Turbo Graphics, MAME, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and a couple of Doom and du- du- Nukem 3D ports. And a select few PlayStation 1 games. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. This is absolutely awesome. There's instructions about to make sure you uh, shut it off the correct way or you can corrupt the card. He warns me not to do certain things, or else I'll be paying for a new memory card to mail out me with the games on it. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. There's instructions, and I seriously want to try this out. You know what would be cool about this? Hell, we could hook this up to, like, a big TV. Yeah. Just, like... I wonder if, I wonder if it upconverts. I wonder how it looks. Either way, that's really cool, and... I thanks mean, a lot. I was just thinking, I mean, for 2600 games, my biggest problem is the freaking controllers on that, like... If you could just sit down with well, a regular controller and play a twenty six hundred game, it'd be a whole lot more enjoyable. Well, I, hate, I hate to say it, if I didn't want to, if I need to capture a twenty six hundred game, I ain't fucking hooking up to the VCR and running it. I'm doing HDMI go. out. This yeah. is fantastic. This is like screw the Retron Five. Let's go Raspberry yeah. Pi. <laughs> well, that's what most people have said. The, and he sent lots of instructions here. See, here's a picture of the Pi Ten Dove. You can buy the case for it. Oh, that's super fucking cute. You can buy the case. Looks like a Nintendo. I might actually do that. I mean, he already gave me. This working one. 
That's adorable. So I hope I just didn't send his phone number out when I put that. I bl- blank that out. <laughs> his phone number was there. Double check. So hoorah! Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. And thanks for doing what you're doing and making really cool devices and being one of the pioneers of the field.